Hello everybody, I'm Sanji and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for giving me your time and checking me out. I definitely appreciate it. If this isn't your first time and you've been rocking with me for a little bit, I appreciate you. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for joining in. So we're going to be talking about in this video how to attract the Scorpio man. Yes, 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 the elusive Scorpio man. He's actually number two on a list when I was doing the research of the most difficult man to get to fall in love. That's what they say. I'm sure that's open to debate. And as always, I encourage you after viewing the video to, of course, like, share, subscribe, but more importantly, please comment below. Let's talk about it. What are your viewpoints when you hear what I have to say in the video? So without further ado, let's get into how do you attract Mr. Scorpio? Well, first of all, let's talk about some common traits that are attributed to Mr. Scorpio. Scorpios are said to be a powerful sign. They're dark, they're moody, they're real, and they're intensely sexy. That's what they say about you, Mr. Scorpio. You, sir, are the epitome of sex appeal. Now, the Scorpio man will definitely savor emotions. He is a water sign, and water signs are typically attributed to being emotional beings that both good and bad so a lot of times when you say emotional people think okay you do big cry baby no 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 <laughs> don't get it twisted that is not mr scorpio no 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 for just as much as he can feel empathetically and lovingly for you he can turn around with that stinger and turn your life into absolute horror so just want to put that little side note. <laughs> you would be very careful when you're dealing with Mr. Scorpio. He is known not to play games, okay? Like I said, Scorpio men are said to be intense. They have an enormous inner strength. They're just built that way to handle anything they may find in their partner or their opponent. Okay, so most prefer a good fight over being ignored. Okay, so a Scorpio man is said to be an in your face type of guy. Now they're intuitive, they're passionate, and they're self confident. The Scorpio man will often know all of your secrets before you reveal them and will have you scratching your head like, How did you know that? It's just a gift they attribute to Mr. Scorpio. Now, what he doesn't learn from you directly, he'll pick up from reading between the lines. Scorpio men are said to be very observant. They watch you. Some people get uncomfortable by it, how intensely the Scorpio will actually watch you, watch your movements, watch your reactions. The Scorpio man is listening to two things. He's listening to what you say, but he's also listening to what you don't say. So again, please buy your beware about Mr. Scorpio. He is nothing to play with, okay? All right, so this fixed water sign is born on October 23rd and their season lasts through November 21st. So again, as I said, they're an intense person. So if you think that you can handle the intensity of Mr. Scorpio, well then I've got some surefire ways to get his attention. Are you ready? You got your pen? You got your paper? Cause you're gonna need it. Here we go, let's get into step one. How do you attract Mr. Scorpio? Well, when it comes to securing this affectionate Scorpio man, the main obstacle is going to be other people. That's right. Rivals. Scorpio men are known to have many admirers, typically. As I said, 
There's just something intensely sexy about the Scorpio man. And without even trying, people are just attracted to him. So know that going in that there may be other suitors, but don't, don't worry. I got you. I got you. I'm about to move you to the front of the line. Ready? Step one, show him that you're ambitious. That's right. You have to show the Scorpio man that you are driven and you are about what it is you do. You have some business of your own to mind, <laughs> the business that pays you, and that is what you do. All right? However, if not, if you're not in the position that is the same as his, for example, if you are somebody that you and Mr. Scorpio are in a position together, you maybe perhaps you work at the same company and you're in the position that you can help him further along in his career, oh, you just have to say that you're interested. Mrs. Scorpio is going to make time for you because if for no other reason from his own vantage point, he sees the benefit in talking to you. You know, he's going to weigh out what's the, the pros and the cons of dating you, of course, but getting in there and getting his ear, that's a piece of cake. So, <laughs> so if that's your position, you got step one together. You can just show him you're interested. He can do the math. He can see the career ladder and you're in there. All right. But for the rest of you, the rest of us schleps that have to get the Scorpio's attention. Well, you can do that by talking to him about what it is he does and talking about your career goals. If they are the same, fine. That's great. If not, if they're right, well, you can teach him by learning different things because he's going to find that interesting. And as long as you show him how driven and committed you are to your career, that's terrific. He's going to love it. He's going to be fascinated by it. Scorpios like that drive. Now, one quick thing to note. If you're in the same business, if you're in the same uh, job field, the same employment as Mr. Scorpio, you want to walk a fine line. You don't want to appear to be competition because what will happen if, you, if the Scorpio man thinks that you're going for the same prize, the same position as him, he's going to see you as a potential obstacle or even worse, a rival. And once they see you that way, it's kind of difficult for the Scorpio to come off of that and they will find it hard to see you as anything other than someone they've got to move out of the way <laughs> because you're blocking their way to their goal. Okay, so if that's you and you want to weigh the situation, you want to make sure that they know that you're a team together, that you are not vying in any way for the same position as they are. Okay, so then if you are, then hit me on my Insta go. We'll find another way <laughs> to get around that. But for the rest of us, ready? Step two. All right, in step two, you must respect Mr. Scorpio's privacy. That's right. The Scorpio man likes his privacy and responds badly to prying. Now, here's the funny thing about it. He wants you to reveal <laughs> your stuff. He's going to do all his snooping and all kinds of whatever Scorpio tricks they use to know all your business before you tell them. Yeah, they're going to do that. But don't you make the mistake of trying to do that to them. Oh, no. They see that as prying. They don't like that. As a matter of fact, they like their secrets and they plan to keep them until they decide that they will privilege you with the knowledge of knowing. <laughs> and you're just going to have to accept that. Don't push them on it because they'll just dig in their heels and then they may never tell you just for the simple sake that they're Scorpios and they just won't tell you. All right. So getting to know the Scorpio is a process. So you're just going to have to trust the process and go along with it. Remember, don't push, don't pry. Got it? Step three, don't try to analyze Mr. Scorpio. That's right, Scorpio man doesn't like to feel like they're being analyzed or even worse, 
psychoanalyze. Like, yeah, don't do that. Try, don't try to get in their head. Don't ask them what's wrong with them. Why are you like that? Why are you so secretive? Where do you disappear to? Why won't you tell me? I asked you a question. Why don't you shut down? You know, I asked you questions. You don't always ask. Uh, yeah, you see what that sounds like? It's like this ongoing tape. Eh, you don't want to do that. So don't try to analyze them. Any attempt to get inside his head before he wants you there will be met with some serious opposition, okay? So don't do that. Just pace yourself. Breathe. Wusa, it's okay. And also, don't over compliment him. Don't try to go the other way by just saying, oh, you're so this and you're so that. Because too many compliments makes the Scorpio man very suspicious. <laughs> it's gonna wonder why you're complimenting him so much. So you know, like I said, even just be chill and just go with it remember we're trusting the process we're just easy floating along right right relax shake your shoulders float with it stay fluid got it good step four preserve a little mystery about yourself now as i said He's going to find out all that it is that he can find out about you anyway. So, no need to blurt it all out on the first date. As a matter of fact, you want to go in the opposite direction of that. Now, do you want to be all tight-lipped and closed mouth? No, and it seems as though the two of you are just having a silent match against each other. Well, of course not. Of course you're going to tell him some things. What I'm saying is don't have diary of the mouth. Don't tell him everything. He doesn't need to know what happened, whether or not you lost the spelling bee in the third grade. He doesn't need <laughs> to know why you broke up with your last boyfriend, although they're going to ask you, just wait a minute. Get there in time. However, there's nothing wrong with leaving a little breadcrumb here and there for him. Drop breadcrumbs, different little hints to intrigue Mr. Scorpio. And then he will follow the breadcrumbs and of course, the breadcrumbs lead to you. So you see that? Preserve a little mystery about yourself. Don't tell too much, just enough to keep Mr. Scorpio interested. And step five, ready for step five? Step five is a big one. Ready? You all ready? Here we go. Important. Be sexy. Did you hear what I said? I'll repeat that. Be sexy. Sexy. You. Be sexy. You be sexy all the time. <laughs> Sleeping, awake, walking, talking, sitting. Be sexy. That's right. The Scorpio man likes sexy, seriously, all the time. <laughs> you know, they, the Scorpio man is a very sexual being. They just ooze it, that's who they are, and that's who they're attracted to. So, you know, there are different levels to sexy and there are different types of ways to be sexy. It doesn't always mean, you know, show everything because you shouldn't show everything because again, Step four says leave some things to mystery. So some things should be discovered, okay? But there's a sexy mentality about you. You have to kind of know who you are. You have to know that you're the hottest thing on the block and make him feel as though you're the hottest thing on the block. And of course, the Scorpio man thinks that they deserve the hottest thing on the block. And that happens to be you. You get it? It's a sexy mentality. So you want to keep sexy right here on the forehead. Sexy. You are sexy. Sexy is you. Got it? <laughs> All right. So the Scorpio man is refreshingly honest. Okay, here's the good thing about him. So if he isn't interested in you, He's going to stop you way back at step two. <laughs> he just is. He's going to tell you. And he'll let you know quickly and bluntly. And although it may sting a little bit, the reality of the situation is you don't have to waste your time with someone who isn't interested in you. So it's not all bad. However, 
The good news is, if he doesn't stop you in your pursuits because he's very intuitive and he's going to pick up rather quickly that you're into him, then chances are you've got a pretty good chance at Scorpio. So go for it, all right? So rewind the tape, write all those steps down, and then get out there and get after your Scorpio guy. And once you've secured him, check out my video on your sun sign paired with Scorpio so you know exactly what it is you're facing in this sun sign relationship. And when you want to go even further, check out part two where I talk about the down and dirty between the two of you. How things can heat up or cool off if you don't play your cards right with Mr. Scorpio. All right, so that's it. Good luck securing your Scorpio guy. Go on out there. Just remember, sexy is you. You are sexy. <laughs> and all that other stuff. Be patient. You know, eh, watch the video again. And then, of course, comment below. Let me know what you think of my ideas on how you secure your Scorpio man. Have you secured a Scorpio man? Are you a Scorpio man? Let us know. Give us some more hints. I'd love to hear you. And if you haven't done so already, please, please, please subscribe. Thanks so much. Again, I'm Sanji. I appreciate your time. And until the next time, I see ya. Bye-bye.